taken like hundreds of millions of years to get a planet that works in our favor and a few decades to seriously unravel those tightly wound fine-tuned systems like coral reefs. So we have to know our past if we are to know where we're going. And we are where we are because those in the past have gathered information and passed it along. It's been hundreds of years, thousands of years, getting to the point where we have what we now have. It's the best point in time that has ever existed in terms of knowledge and communication of knowledge. So I can forgive those 50, 100, 1,000 years ago for bringing systems and individual species to the point of extinction for contaminating the ocean and the atmosphere, burning coal and doing the dastardly things that now we have inherited as problems because they did not know. But there's no excuse today. We do know what the problems are and who's at the root of it. So whatever it takes to get the attention of people to realize that with every breath they take, every drop of water they drink, they're connected to the ocean. And they don't have to touch the ocean physically because the ocean physically touches them, touches you, touches all of us, wherever we live on the planet. We, we may be the last generation, last people on Earth in the next, this part of, the, of human civilization to know elephants, to know tuna fish, to know coral reefs, to know that you can actually step outside and breathe the air <laughs> just Take a breath, we take it for granted. Can't do that on Mars. Maybe we won't be able to do that in 50 or 100 years unless we take action right now.